It's time for the final here at the Male Rip Grill Pro Portugal, the 10th stop of the World Surf League Championship Tour. And it's a rematch of the final from right here at Super Tubos back in 2012. That was Joel Parkinson's world title run where he clinched at the end of the season. But these young guns have been doing battle for a long time. Now entering their fifth final of their career. Julian Wilson winning the last three straight final decisions. Up and over the foam ball a couple of times. Here he goes now. Gabriel Medina winding up. Looks like he wants to go big above the lip. Tail high, full rotation. Had the landing, but ends up going down. Coming close to kicking off this final in a massive way. Onshore is the new offshore for these guys. And this is why Medina getting a pu perfect rotation, but just over rotating the body. That momentum was still going down the line when he landed. And uh, just a little bit off balance, unfortunate there for Gabriel, incomplete. He's one of those guys that doesn't mind going for some of the biggest moves in the heat of competition. Setting up the barrel is Medina and wisely getting credit for the exit. Now the answer for Wilson. Going for a big backside air rotator, but he can't hang on. Yeah, you know what, you just gotta go for it. You gotta find uh, just a little ramp. I mean, uh, at the moment, it's it's kind of shutting down, and this is, have a look at this, a perfect example right here. Gabriel Medina just sneaking in, sneaking out, getting that completion, just a 183 and a 143, so he's gonna better his situation. Really cool to see that in extra slow-mo. You can check out more worm clips on the WSL page and watch Medina up again, speeding through that whitewater section. He'll have to step off. So you can see the challenge on hand. And since then, he's just been dying to get Wilson back. Seeing that view from the sky, it's Medina with a big completion on his forehand, landing that stock frontside air. He's had a few attempts with those big backhand rotations. And now he's finally backing up his 5.17 pots. It was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Look at this wave. It's, it's pretty much a closeout, but that's all that's on offer. So you've got to go. You've got to just ride waves. And oh, look at that beautiful high tail high, tail low maybe. This wave works, how it refracts from out the back and unloads on this shallow sandbank. Wilson up, looking like he's going for a big nose pick reverse. One major move. He's running out of wave, but still has a little bit of energy to go the distance. Nothing left for him on the inside corner, but his first major completion of the final with 8.30 to go. Good timing, Potts, to throw that thing down. Yeah, well, he had to get busy. He had to do something. Uh, it was just been all Gabriel Medina. Here he goes again. More Medina with a lot of speed, winding up off the lip. It's a big tail high reverse and no landing once again. From uh, two excellent scores, that's for sure. Let's have a look at this one. A lot of speed. Covered a lot of distance as well. <clears throat> it wasn't as high as what we've seen Gabriel go, but he really did travel a long distance across the, the wave there. Landing, just that spin, the rotation as he landed, kind of flipped him around, a little bit off balance. Watch as the fins grab here. The board spins really quickly. And Gabriel just a little bit too far up the board there on that occasion. Let's have a look at Jules's wave. Snap off the top, throws it into an air reverse. So nice turn there from Julian Wilson. And uh, he'll get himself back in this heat with that score, 4.67. Had a lot of high nines for big full rotations. Medina giving himself another shot here. Here's that wind up, shove it, ends up sliding out, lays back, recovers, switch. <laughs> Just to get the crowd excited. <laughs> Meanwhile, driving through this barrel, Wilson trying to pull that one out of the end. That would have been a huge point of difference since it's all about the above the lip work. Let's have a look at Julian, pulls into the barrel, traveling, traveling. Unfortunately, he doesn't come out. So that could have been a big score for Julian Wilson. It's gonna be a one pointer nonetheless. Let's have a look at Medina here. It's kind of like, what's he gonna do? Lands a bit awkward, but then somehow gets back up. So looking to improve on a 5-1-7. Kind of a messy landing for, for Gabriel. Bang. He switches stance midair. And the core strength right there to stand back up in that switch foot stance is absolutely amazing. I mean, this could be amazing right now. Out the back, look at this wave coming in. The wave's like looking so good. There, so we'll get right into Wilson, packing the pit on the backhand, stretching this one out down the line. 
Backside float to finish that one off. After not getting the make on his forehand, he finds an answer on a running left-hand tube. Medina was out the back already. 6.17, Joe, let's have a look. Drives off those fins. Now he pulls in nice and tight. Traveling, traveling, and comes out the end of it. Finishes off with a little floater maneuver as well. 6.17, let's have a look. Now the judges are looking into the barrel. So they're going to have a look at this camera angle for sure, just to keep an eye on how deep Julian was. Nice and clean too, came out without any problems whatsoever. And then goes into a backside float. So Gabriel Medina, did he have priority then? Did he let that wave go? Because if he did, he's going to be kicking himself right, right about now. A 6.17 is what's required from Julian. A little bit of mo emotion right there. So Wilson paddled himself into a great position and a lead change, 6.27 for that left hand tube for Wilson. Flips it on Medina, now he's up for more. Just to close out section for Julian. Wow, these guys are just going at it. Now we're down to 90 seconds, Medina with priority, only needs a 5.28. Ramps up, big front side stock air, lands it clean into a front side wrap with a tail slide. One more punch out on the inside corner. And Medina lights up the crowd, a minute 15 on the clock and only needing a 5.28 putt. Oh, I love it, this is what we come here for. Julian, 50 seconds remaining. Looking for an answer, pulls into the barrel, a front side tube, not much left on offer, so kicks out just in case, 44 seconds. Julian still waiting for the number from Medina. He's probably got a great idea in the, of the, what the score will be. So he's got to get himself in a position to answer back. Meanwhile, Medina, tail high reverse down the beach. Lands it again. A quick little bow to the crowd. What an amazing final minute for Gabriel Medina. As we wait for those numbers to lock in. A 6.93 from his wave before and the lead with now 12 seconds to go. <laughs> Julian needing a 6.34. That little barrel that he had, is it going to be enough? Still waiting for that score. And that's it for time. Two scores to be put into the screen, but Medina's got so much momentum and a lot of people on the beach already celebrating what could be an incredible European leg of the tour. Winning the Quicksilver Pro France, now coming here to Portugal with unfinished business in a rematch from the 2012 final against his all-time rival on tour. Wilson sends a slob to the sky after the heat was completed. As Wilson scored for the barrel, just a 3-0-3, three, three, yep. and it is official. Gabriel Medina is the 2017 Male Rip Curl Pro no, Portugal champion, taking out Julian Wilson with a quick revenge from the final in Tahiti, wow. and now comes into the Pipe Masters number two in the world. Yeah, wow. This year couldn't get any crazier. And it is absolute chaos down there as usual. Scores in from his last wave, a 6-3-3. A keeper as well, with just seconds on the clock before he got the message that his wave before took him to the lead.